Hey, it's your girl, Miss Salsa Ray here, and I want to talk about the programming languages that I think you should learn if you are interested in being a programmer. And I'm going to talk about it in a way that I believe the industry is headed to. The most important language that I think every web developer should learn or programmer should learn is JavaScript. It's the most important language for web-based development. It's used in conjunction with any back-end server-side technology used. It's a full server-side technology, not just browser-based. It's very difficult to learn. It's extremely unique. Most popular libraries and modern frameworks are JavaScript frameworks. If you want to get in web development, you have to learn this language. Another language I think you should learn. This old language, C. It's an old language. Most languages are built on top of C. It's not the best first language to learn, but it helps with hacking. This is in case you want a computer security job. I'm not saying learn this language so you can like casually hack into someone else's computer or whatever the case may be. Hacking, I do not condone hacking. It is illegal. But C is a super low level language. Okay. Okay. C++. New developers can learn C++ 11. It's a lot easier. It was such an old language, it was harder to code. It was created in the 80s, so it was somewhat outdated. And it's complicated and there is no kind of memory management. Game engines, computer games like Unreal, Unity are written in this language. Physics engines have a C++ library for it. PHP, this is a web-based language and it's what powers blogs. It's pretty annoying to me. Some people like to code. The guy that invented this code didn't like coding, so it's weird how he like coded it. It's useful to a certain degree. It's a little extra and weird, but it's an easy language. You can get a website up and running quickly with PHP. It has security issues though. PHP basically replaced Perl, and Perl was popular in the 90s. Python and Ruby is replacing Perl, but it's still a great language to learn. And speaking of Python, Python is the most taught language in schools. I didn't go to college for IT. I went for business. Everything I learned about computer programming, I learned on the job and from other programmers. It's a good introductory language. It's a good web base that is better to use than PHP. Instagram, Gmail, YouTube, they use this language. And biologists use this language. Data scientists use it to do their number crunching. And it's growing in multiple industries. Ruby is a web language. Ruby on Rails was used by Twitter and it was used first to master their web framework and it paved the way for modern web frameworks. It's easy to install a gem but it's too much black box magic. It's very very good for web development though. Java. People are always looking for people who know Java. Java is the language for Android development. Embedded systems, server DVDs, Blu-ray, search engines, damn near everything so it's in demand. So if you want to learn a computer language, I think that Java and JavaScript are basically the two languages that you really, really need to try to learn. Go programming language. It's Google Go. Google uses this language. It was created by them, but it's an open source language. It's a systems and low level language. It's not very popular right now, but I think learning it right now, it will be popular in a few years. So I think it's something that you might want to know um, in the back of your mind at least. Also Swift. Swift is the replacement for Apple's programming language Objective-C. It's the Python of Objective-C. Swift is a good language to learn because Apple is what? Isn't Apple like the number one technology company in like the world? So you might want to know uh, Swift just because, okay? Like, because you can get a job with this stuff. Like, these are all languages that I think you can get a decent job if you learn them. C Sharp. C Sharp is the .NET framework for Microsoft proprietary systems technology. Basically, anything Microsoft, forum sites, phones, this is the language that they use, the Windows Phone. Now, if they were to become an open source, it will probably grow, where developers can go outside of one particular operating system and they can go use this specific language to do other things. That would be awesome. But right now, you can only use C Sharp with anything Microsoft. And I believe that's it for now. I believe that's it for now. Those are the 10 languages that I think would be good to know. Like I told people before, my first little tiny web language I learned first was HTML. And then I learned uh, database languages like uh, SQL. So I really babysat it here. Like when you don't go to college for computer engineering or computer science, 
you're going to meet some people inside of IT who are extremely smart. And you got two choices. You can get to know these people and learn what they learn. Or you can take yourself to college for seven years trying to learn this stuff. So for me, I just said, you know what? I'm around a whole bunch of IT people. These people know more than what I do. Why don't I just learn from these people? And that's exactly what I did. I appreciate you guys checking out my channel. If you have any suggestions on tech tutorials I can do, please let me know. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, Miss CPU TV. That's where I will be putting all of my tech videos up. All things tech, tech news, tech tutorials. I'm going to go hard with it. It's going to take me some time, but you know what? Baby step it. Always tell you guys to baby step it. I appreciate you guys watching. Have vision and stay focused. Bye.